That is the Trump report card. Now let's talk about the promises that maybe got him those marks. During the election, President Trump said a lot. He promised a lot to many people about many things. Newsy tonight has partnered with PolitiFact to dive into the president's record on some of his big campaign promises. PolitiFact, they did a lot of work here. They tracked more than 100 promises made by President Trump on the campaign trail, and they put them all in a really cool graphic that you're seeing right here. It shows everything from promises kept to stalled promises, as well as those still in the works tonight. Here's a breakdown of some of the proposals the president promised to make good on. And tonight we're going to focus on promises kept, promises broken, and compromises. Let's start with the positive for his supporters. President Trump promised to keep Guantanamo Bay open, uh, to cancel the Paris Climate Accord, and also slash federal regulations. He's done all of those in spades. Now, not so good, maybe. He promised to release his tax returns after a completed audit. As you know, that never happened. He also said he would create targeted child care tax credits and declare China a currency manipulator. Uh-uh. All three of those broken. Now let's get to the middle ground. Cutting taxes for everyone. Canceling global warming payments to the UN and eliminating the marriage penalty. They were all rated compromises. Let's find out why. Today I talked with Katie Sanders, the deputy editor of PolitiFact, about how they compiled their list, judged the list, and what promises we could see fulfilled or spiked possibly this year. It looks to me, reading over the items here, that the president, you say, has been the most effective when he's acting alone. Yes, uh, specifically on immigration, Donald Trump has, has found a lot of success in using his executive power. And he's really gone after a lot of the initiatives and executive orders that were issued by his predecessor, President Barack Obama. So you're seeing his attempts to um, unwind deferred action for undocumented immigrants, for example, or roll back parts of the health care law that are within his executive authority. He has done quite a few things that he told his supporters he was going to do. Freezing regulations, pulling out of the Paris Climate Accord, Supreme Court nominee, and now Justice Neil Gorsuch uh, keeping Guantanamo Bay open. Specifically in our Trumpometer, which measures 101 campaign promises, we found that 15% are rated promise kept or compromise, meaning he's gotten partial or complete success. But that leaves a lot of the pie unfulfilled at this point. Could you give me an inside look at how promises kept versus still lingering was construed there within PolitiFact? We always start by asking the White House, what have you done so far on this specific action? Uh, sometimes they give us a response and that gives us a good jumping off point. But most times we're able to just do our own research based on news articles or firsthand interviews with experts who are tracking the subject every day much, close, much more closely than we do. Congress is a separate branch of the government. Uh, many of these promises that were made out there boldly saying we're gonna get this done, well, they have to have 535 people involved also. Exactly. I think the biggest one that comes to mind, uh, and maybe he didn't expect this obstacle, was the repeal and replace of the Affordable Care Act. Trump said it's going to happen like that when he was on the campaign. But once he got into office, he found that there's, it's actually way more complicated. And <laughs> deciding who wins and who loses in health care reform is a very tricky thing. He has made some foreign policy decisions and promises. I think you list 19 of them as in the works. Can you explain how that works? Sure. So in the works, uh, we break it down into a definition, and that means there's been some movement on the promise. Maybe he's proposed something or he has instructed an agency to draft how this would actually work to fulfill it, but it's just not there yet. Domestic items, they have been the highest. We hear America first a lot. They've been the highest on the president's priority list and many Republicans. So could you give us a sense of where those promises are today and which might not have been fulfilled yet, but seem likely or the most likely to get done? Well, there is certainly some urgent action coming this week on the DREAMers, uh, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals controversy that's going on in Washington. You see DACA um, being uh, used as kind of an instrument in the negotiations about the government shutdown and what to do with these individuals. Um, so Trump said that he was going to rescind that order, but he still wants something to happen for them. He's sympathetic to that group of immigrants. Um, so that's, that's been kind of a tricky one to evaluate. 
We didn't have time tonight to talk about all 100 items, but if you go to PolitiFact, you can read them line by line if you want.